Hey everybody, this is Structural Steve again, and in this video I'm going to go over finished grade elevations and the different reports you can run within OpenBridge Modeler. So before you get started doing your finished grade elevations, you want to make sure you have all the components that you'll need modeled in order to generate those finished grade elevations. And usually this just means having your deck modeled and your barriers in this case, because those are the points where you're going to need those finished grade elevations at. So in this model here, I already have all that and more, so I'm ready to start doing my finished grade elevations. And before I get started, actually, I like to go in and make sure that my naming conventions make sense for my, my model elements. So in this case here, I have a, a one, actually a two-span bridge, but it has a beginning and end approach slab on either side. But the, the deck is a continuous deck unit here with two spans. And what I like to do is go in and make sure that my decks are named correctly and my barriers are named correctly. And this is going to help me out in my finished grade elevation report because that report references these elements. So if they're all just named, you know, barrier one, two, three, four, five, or deck one, two, three, four, five, you know, you're not going to be able to know what it is that you're actually clicking on and reporting those elevations for. So I like to go in the file explorer here and make sure that everything's named appropriately. So I already did in this case. Um, and this one, this unit here, this is my begin approach slab unit. In my deck, I named begin app slab for begin approach slab. And my barriers, I said begin app left barrier, begin app right barrier. For my main unit here, I just model this as one continuous deck. So I just call this main deck. And my barriers are going to be main span left barrier, main span right barrier. And then for my end approach slab, same thing as beginning, the deck's going to be called end app slab, and then end app slab left and right barrier here. Now with all that named correctly, I'm going to go ahead and start doing my finished grade elevations. The one thing you want to do too, to in order to properly generate your finished grade elevations, is make sure that whatever span it is that you're reporting on is part of the active unit. So I'm going to go ahead and do my begin approach slab finish grade elevations here. So I want to make sure that this is an active unit and I see it's green here it is. If I was doing the end one I would just right click and set active but I'm going to do the first approach slab here first so that's good. So go ahead and close my explorer here. Go to the analysis and reporting tab and click on deck. I'm going to select my first and last peer line that I want to do this report for. Left click to accept. Go ahead and give it a name here. And the first one I'm going to do is this, the station offset elevation report here. I want those finished grade lines to be skewed as well, so I'm going to leave these as parallel to support. I'm going to do five different lines. The first one being on the first support line, the last one being on the last support line. And I'm going to go ahead and click on the alignment left deck edge, right deck edge, and then here's where that naming convention comes in handy here. So I have my left barrier here, and, I, and the left edge is going to be the back side of that left barrier, so it's going to be this back side here. I don't need to report that elevation, but I do need to report the inside edge, or the right edge of that left barrier, which is the gutter line. And then same thing on the right barrier, I want to report the left edge, because that's the gutter line for that barrier. So they're all selected. Uh, and if you needed to, you could always use these as a reference point and then also create an additional uh, longitudinal line that you report finished grades from. So these are all zeros. So these are all going to be reporting uh, the finished grades along these longitudinal lines with a zero offset. And if you wanted to, you can actually add longitudinal line just by hitting comma and then putting an offset. So if I wanted a, a one foot to the right offset longitudinal line for my finished grade elevation report in addition to my alignment line, I could just put uh, comma one in there and then that'll give me an additional line there. In this case I don't really need that so I'm just going to leave all these the way they are. Click generate and we see here the T lines, the finished grade elevation lines, everything looks pretty good. I do notice here, the now you'll see that the orange points, it's kind of hard to see because they don't really get bigger in size, but these orange points means it's good, it, it's got an elevation for that point there. If it's red, such as this one here, you're gonna, it's going to actually be missing that point in the finished grade elevation report. So you're going to have to do a manual you know, calculation for that specific one. So you can see here I got all five of my points uh, for these first three ones, the alignment, left deck edge, right deck edge. And then my gutter line I'm missing um, the last point here, and I'm also missing the beginning point here. And that's just this point here. 
and this point here. And that's just an issue that they're having right now with the finished grade elevation port. But you know, we can still get you know, majority of them here and then just manually calculate this one if we need to. So this looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and get this report or save this report, and that's why I named it up here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and close. And then where that saves to is actually in your explorer over here. So if you drill down into that specific unit under reports, you now see this apps lab SOE. So this is that elevation report that I just created there. And you can just open that up and run it again if you wanted to. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what that other report looks like. So go ahead and go back to analysis reporting, click on deck, click on that first and last support line for the report, left click to accept, and I'm going to do a consolidated report. So this one, I'm going to call this one begin apps lab, I'm going to call it con or consolidated report. Same number of points, I want five. Keep them parallel to the support line, the begin support line. Click my points. And go ahead and click generate. Now this report's gonna be a little bit different in the way it's oriented. The previous one, the, the SOE report, the station offset elevation report, all your data was kind of in a, a vertical direction, but in this one here, it actually puts it more of a horizontal direction, which is good because this is usually the way that we like to present it in our plans. So we can take a little bit better look at this by just changing the orientation. And we can see everything looks good. So we got our alignment here, left deck edge, right deck edge, left gutter line, right gutter line here. And you can see some of those points that we're missing here. And that's just from that same same issue we have in, with the previous report here with those points right here and right here. For some reason, the, the begin right gutter line and the end left gutter line just don't like to give us elevations for some reason in this per particular build. But I'm sure that's something they'll be fixing in the future. Actually, one thing I forgot to go over is you know, the exporting of that report. So let's go ahead and generate that one more time. And once you have it like this, and you kind of have it uh, in the way that you like to see it, so let's just go ahead and change that back to landscape to get it oriented a little bit better. Uh, usually what we like to do is to export that. So go to Export, XLS, X-File, and you can go ahead and name the Sheet tab if you want to here, or the file. Uh, show the grid lines. I usually like to have this checked here. This one, I'll just go ahead and name that tab. And hit OK. And give it that same name here. You can open up that file, see what it looks like in Excel, and it looks pretty much identical to the way it is in here. Now for some reason they do have some some merge cell issues or things you might want to clean up here if you want to use this in uh, a report or actually kind of manipulate this data further. So you can see these ones here. These are the ones here that have the merge cell issues. So one one thing you want to do is go ahead and delete those. And it's always going to be the the right one of the two that are merged here. So you see these two columns here kind of merged into this one cell. Well, the data is always going to be in this first one here. So you can just select the, the right one or the last one, right click and delete to help kind of clean that up a bit. In this case, there's three cells merged together. So let's just delete these two here. And then now you can kind of format it a little bit better to however you like it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So let's go back in OBM and see if there's anything else that was worth talking about here in the finished grade elevation report. Um, so we got the transverse lines here. If you want those to be radial to alignment or normal to alignment, you can choose this option here. There is another report called XYZ report that gives you XYZ coordinates instead of uh, stations and offsets. If you wanted to specify specific spacings for your finished grade lines or T lines, you can do that here by selecting this option entering a, by entering a distance here. And if I had selected, you know, the very beginning pier line of the bridge and the very last one, then I'd have more options here. You can select different start and end lines or different support lines here for your report. Also these offset values. So this is, these are going to be offsets from this pier line here. So if I wanted to start this finished grade report, you know, one at a one foot offset from this 
pier line, then I would just put it, you know, one in here. And if I wanted it to be uh, one foot offset on the, you know, going backwards from this end bent line here, then I would put in a negative one here. So one last thing I'll mention with regards to the beams and getting finished grade elevations on your beam lines. If you have your beams with a begin or an offset, as we often do, the beams obviously don't go all the way to each pier line, you're going to have uh, possibly an issue with your finished grade elevation report. If, you, if those beams don't extend all the way back to the pier line, sometimes you won't get results for your finished grade elevations at those pier lines and the beam lines. So when you're running your finished grade elevation report, you might have to go ahead and take away those begin and offsets to get those beams all the way back to the pier lines, run your report, and then move them back to where they really are in real life after you're done with that. And then the last thing I'll talk about here is this auxiliary section. This is just going to be if you wanted to add some kind of you know, auxiliary elements to the elevation report here. Yeah, I think that's about it. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please help the channel by hitting that subscribe button you see on your screen now. Give the video a like and share it with others. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to them. See you guys in the next video.